morning everyone, welcome back to another episode of Unplug TV Australia. Australia. As well as positive cash flow in Q. Yep, thanks Elon. Guys, first of all, thank you so so very much for all your votes for my wife's drawing. She was overwhelmed about all your feedback on my last video, the last the video before that. Was it the video before before the video? So thank you so so much for everything. Um, I link the competition below again. It's still open until the 18th of August 2019. So if you haven't voted yet, uh, please go ahead and vote her picture first and um, probably vote again. I don't know. It's a bit silly, isn't it? Yeah, the more people you know, the more likely it is that you win something. I mean, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Seventy percent. I hammered the car. Eleven point four ampere hours used. Uh, so around two ampere hours more than usually. Heating runs full blast. Well, I've got so much. <laughs> Better turn the camera this way. <laughs> I've got so much energy in the battery. It's not funny anymore. What a great car. Stop live data. All right. See you at lunchtime. Beginning of the month, I need to pay these guys three dollar and twenty or something. I'll do this later this morning. Bye bye, PHEV. Well, I just figured out I used um, fifteen. Stupid loud cars. Fifteen kilowatt hours here at the club last month, so three dollar seventy-five. I'll give them four. Hello, sir. Hello, Richard. How are we? Money. All oh, the big money from last month. What is it? Two dollars ten. No, it's more. Three. Three dollars seventy-five. Holy hell, Andy! You can keep the change. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, you're getting generous, man. I know, I know. I shouldn't, but I do it sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> Welcome to the Unplugged EV lunch break. Some news about the Lindquist and Dublin or Irish. So it's the D method. There are so many methods out there. I can't, I cannot possibly remember them all. Um, a lot of people have sent me messages with their success photos of the Lindquist method and the Irish method as well, the Dublin method. Should I call it Dublin method? I don't know. Uh, this guy was already down to 78.4%, so over 20% down after 37,000 kilometers only. And the Lindquist um, didn't work for him, so he tried the Dublin method and it got his car back to uh, 40 ampere hours. See this one here, 128,000 kilometers on the clock and declining fast. 70% state of health only. Still the car was drivable and about 25-30 kilometers of pure EV range. I know this guy tried several hundred times to do the Lindquist method without any success at all. And finally the Dublin method worked for him as well. Dropping down the battery voltage on the 12 volt battery down to 10.8. Having the lights on and at some point you will get error messages on the dashboard while you bring down the 12 volt battery. And then at around 8 volts, the whole system is totally dead. You can see the car manages only to turn on one light correctly. 
this is pretty much at the 8 volt threshold of the system then. When the voltage is not stable enough anymore to support the chips inside the BMU and it gets corrupted data. And then eventually he got it back from 70% to 100%. For some reason it doesn't go up to 40 amp hours in his car, but he said the car is like new. It has the full power again, it does a lot more region, the power meter goes further up than before, before the engine kicks in, that there is a massive improvement of power and region in the car after resetting the BMU. And again guys, this shows that the battery in these cars, even at 128,000 kilometers, is totally fine. If the battery would have degraded naturally from its uh, physical and um, chemical structure, it would not be able to deliver this power or take this region power back into the battery while braking. So this again proves the battery is totally fine in these cars. It's a 100% software issue. And of course, as we all know, the next day um, he turned on the dog and he has dropped uh, 0.1 ampere hours already to 99.7%. Um, this is as expected because um, after a reset, the secular deterioration value in the BMU still sits on 5%, which is, which is wrong in our... What we could find out is it, it is not correct to, after a BMU reset, it should not sit on 5%, it should be on 0% because you usually do only a reset after battery replacement and this should be a 0% secular uh, deterioration, not 5%. And because it's 5%, we can see the uh, state of health dropping fast again afterwards. And this is exactly what we see in my car. Even the battery is new and the BMU was calibrated to 40 ampere hours, but they have not set the secular deterioration to 0%, they left it on 5% as per default, which is totally wrong for a new battery. And there's, there are still so many issues with this reset and with these procedures the dealerships do by, at Mitsubishi and they can't figure it out, they don't have the knowledge, they don't get guidance, they don't get training, they don't get feedback from anyone in how to do it correctly. And the customers know a lot more than the dealerships and Mitsubishi, obviously. As you can see, people have figured it out around the world. They're working on this problem. People figure it out. They don't need Mitsubishi anymore. They just do the Lindquist or the Dublin method now. And it works almost every time now. You can set it back to 38 or 40 ampere hours. And you get your full 50, 60 plus kilometers range back from what I've heard. It's amazing. People are so happy with the car now. They, um, well, <laughs> if you can get them cheap somewhere as an import from Japan or as a second-hand car on the market 2013, 2014 model, you can use these procedures now to reset your own battery and get the EV range back to 50 or 60 kilometers. So it is, it is quite amazing what people are doing at the moment now. Um, I can barely keep up with all the information on the forums. I have to read a lot. This whole development is just exploding at the moment. All right, guys, so the, uh, the Dublin method seems to work. Um, I heard people are working now on a method that you don't have to deplete your 12 volt battery anymore. There are some little electronic um, bits and pieces you can put in between your battery and the car, and you can lower the voltage to the eight volt and um, mess up your BMU and make it reset. And this is much uh, better and much easier to do than watch the dog all the time to find this um, sweet spot of 7.9, 8.2 volts. And yeah, there will be a further development. This is just the beginning of this whole situation now. I'm sure in one year time we have a little box, we connect this to your OBD or to the cigarette lighter or something and it does the whole thing automatically for you. <laughs> All right, guys, yeah, you keep going, whatever you need to do. And you know, I'm not doing any procedures on my car. Uh, certainly cannot do anything. Um, Mitsubishi is, I'm have, I have a case with Mitsubishi, an open case with Mitsubishi, and also have extended warranty for the next 10 years on it. So uh, whenever something happens uh, with my battery, I have to go back to Mitsubishi and get this sorted. I don't want to lose my battery warranty. Pretty much uh, that's it for the day's lunch break. I will uh, stay tuned and we will see us again later on then. Okay, thanks, bye bye. That's 
right. We've got winter and 25 degrees. It is shortly after 5 p.m. and we still have 25 degrees. That is insane. Oh, the dog. Oh, God. Hey guys, we got some feedback from um, the Dublin method. Uh, someone has someone has charged his car and he couldn't find that the car actually takes more energy while charging than before the Dublin method. So same amount of charging. I'm not sure what's going on here. Just want to see how much gain I have. 1.7 ampere hours plus while parking. This is half my way home. Well, there will be more information about the Lindquists, all the methods. I don't know. I, I'm losing overview. I'm losing track of all the information on the in the forums, you know. It is insane. We've got so many procedures now to to try out and test and document. Unbelievable. Seventy five percent state of charge in winter. Okay guys, anyways, thank you so much for watching again. Thanks for all your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia with a long episode again, signing off. You stay charged and drive electric and we will all see us in the next video soon. Enjoy whatever you are, whatever you are doing at the moment. See you then. Bye bye.